Welcome to this screencast where we're going to look into right structuring uh, an answer for the 12 mark question that you find in OCR's iMedia exam R081. I'm going to use um, what I've done with my class earlier today, January 2014, question 11. Um, and we are going to start by checking out OCR's website. If you Google OCR iMedia R081, the first result takes you to OCR's own website. Scroll down to past papers and then um, I've, uh, I've checked out the last three and each time you find discuss the suitability of is a visualization diagram. We've got here a mood board and another visualization diagram. Each one of these, the mark band, for the top mark band, it's fairly similar. Um, and I've put all that in this document that I'm bringing on the screen here. To score the top mark band, you need clear explanations with equal weighting given to strength and weaknesses of what you're reviewing. This should be written for the target audience of the mood board, the storyboard, or the visualization diagram. And this target audience is not the end customer of a product that is being created. It is the graphic artists or technicians who are creating the product. For top mark band, you're going to write so some suggested improvement, which should be in the context of what you're trying to create. And of course, with good presentation, good English, and the correct keywords. If we move to a model answer that I've uh, been working on with my class earlier today, I'm going to make it larger so you can see it. So, oh, uh, in the context of January 2014, question 11, let's show you briefly what this was. It was that. Um, uh, start an opening sequence for a DVD of a concert for a rock band and we had this storyboard we needed to um, discuss its suitability right the way I've uh, I've written this uh, model answer I made sure to break my answer down into distinct paragraph P paragraph starting with a quick introduction which was a very short definition of what a storyboard is. And as you can see, I went straight into um, good points and not so good points, making sure to give them equal weighting so that I'm not uh, uh, concentrating only on one at the expense of the other one. Then most of my answer you could say is my conclusion. The key thing about this is uh, my conclusion is a chance to write at a higher level than just a definition or what went well, even better if. Um, I make it very obvious, uh, this is my conclusion, this is where I'm going to analyze and, and evaluate uh, what, you are, what um, OCR asked me to work on for this question. First, this is a chance to write about the target audience. My target audience, they are the people who are going to use the storyboard to set up the camera, how it's zooming, how it's traveling. And for the people who will be editing the movie, uh, they need to have an idea of uh, timeline, timings, how, how long for which scene, and possibly add a title and, and mix different uh, uh, voices, dialogues, or, or music in the case of uh, this DVD of a rock uh, concert. So um, I'll make the point that uh, too much information is missing um, and then use this the fact that it was uh, given as a first draft so I can write following recommendations for, for further work which is again uh, high level thinking skills all of this contributes towards reaching mark the top mark band here this uh, small paragraph is just uh, listing all the 
technical things, so that's why the appear as uh, keywords in highlighted in yellow, that are missing in order to complete the storyboard, camera shot, angle, camera movement. And then I move on to uh, uh, suggested improvement in the context of a DVD. And the point I'm making there is that um, DVD of concerts have uh, at the start a shot that leaves the viewer in no doubt as to when uh, this concert was, where was it, which venue, the name of the band, all kind of information that music lovers want to, uh, to read and that is missing from the DVD. There's no uh, proper title scene and in fact also uh, uh, highlighted that um, scene 4 backstage the uh, uh, annotation for that scene says that it's meant to be dark so maybe there's a, a reviewer will not be able to read the name of the band so i'm bringing in some technical aspects there uh, into my answer but always in the context of a dvd intro for a rock concert so as you can see um the this is well structured well presented and it's been written in a way to hit all of these, um, these criteria that we found in every one of these um, questions mark scheme. If I go back to the OCR website um, and put this on the board there, you will see that um, that's where it's coming from. And it seems to always follow that structure. So study this, apply it in your revision uh, over the holidays so that you'll be ready for your exam in January.